Hi, what's up everybody? My name is Katherine Rose Smith and I am a singer, songwriter, musician, and vocal coach. Today I'm going to react to the lovely vocals of Miss Morissette. After I reacted last time, you guys very much so wanted this performance. Here we go. Akin Ka Nalang. I don't know if I said that right. I'm so sorry if I did not. But I'm looking forward to it because you guys seem really enthusiastic about this one. So before we get into it, really quick, I did react to Diana and Kudanova. You guys might have seen the little update I posted. I reacted to her. It was amazing. I loved it. And I edited the whole video for you guys and I was really excited about it. Uploaded it to YouTube and just right away copyright strike. Like it just didn't even go through for even a second. So I'm going to try to figure out how to handle that. Let me know if you guys have any ideas, suggestions. It's really disappointing for me because so many of you requested that and I love the way the video turned out, but I don't know, it's rough. So let me know if you have ideas down in the comments. Um, but on a happier note, let's hear the amazing Morissette. We know all about this intro, yes we do. <laughs> it's intense. I love her smile. Wish 1075. There it is. Yes, okay, do you guys hear how she's starting off so light and wispy and so gentle? Probably the number one mistake that I hear inexperienced singers making is getting right into it right out the gate. You need to trust that people will be just as much compelled by that intimate, whispery, quiet, small thing. And I'm drawn in immediately to Morissette. If she had started singing full belting there, would it be as interesting? No, because this creates that bit of drama, that bit of storytelling, and it gives her somewhere to go, somewhere to grow with the dynamics. That's so huge. And like I said last time, she's just such a professional to me. She just has everything so dialed in that of course she's going to do this. She's going to start us off with light whispering, little kind of suggestive, almost teasing what's to come in the rest of the song. So let's see where she goes. Yeah, and did you hear that E? E is a harder vowel to control. It is known E is just a harder vowel to control, especially there in that kind of mid-range. She had this beautiful smile, she's supported from the diaphragm, and she's not using too much air. That's why it worked out so well for her and that E sounded perfect. love that. She loves Mariah Carey. I love Mariah Carey. Mariah does those cool little voice cracks like she just had. It sounds beautiful on her voice. It sounds so good. And while we're pausing, I'm going to take a moment to talk about, I have just been watching in awe at her mouth positioning. It's so perfect. It's so relaxed, but it's so controlled at the same time. Even now, this little, this thing that I paused on, that's perfect. That's what's going to get you that beautiful, bright, shiny tone. If your mouth is more open, the sound can go back around up into your resonators here, which just sounds so beautiful. And that's why her tone sounds so balanced. It's warm and shiny at the same time because she's got that multi resonation chamber thing happening. It's beautiful. Okay. Yes. 
That vibrato. Yeah, and see, now she's back to this intimate, quieter tone. Another mistake that singers make is once they up the ante with the dynamics, just staying there, you can always come back down. You don't have to feel like you're stuck in the dynamic that you've been at previously, and Morissette knows that. She's taking us on a ride dynamically, and that's why it is so amazing to watch this. Okay. Yeah, see, back down. Yeah, and see, just there for that one syllable, that ooh or whatever just happened, she leaned into it, she gave it grit, but only for just a moment. And do you see how compelling that makes it? You can take individual syn syllables, you can take individual words and create a moment with that. And that's what she just did. And that's why this performance is on a separate level than a lot of vocals that we see, because she is isolating these little moments that she can create drama. She can create expressiveness. She's being an artist in every single moment. She's not sleeping. She's not just kind of coasting along. She's present with the vocal, and she's creating these little moments that really draw in the listener. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, that was a really seamless transition from chest to mix. That sounded like her mix there. Let's hear that again. Yeah, I think that key was a mix, and that was such a seamless transition. You've just got to have control. You've got to have really, really strong vocal cords to be able to flip between registers like that. That was beautiful. I don't know if other people would have caught that little detail right there, but I'm really impressed hearing somebody flip that quickly and that, that precisely. That was beautiful. Yeah, uh-huh. See, that was another E. She made that one more of an E, which was the correct choice because then she can get a more open mouth and get that tone. So, sometimes when you can't get that full E, earlier we saw her with the smile, this one was more of an E with that slightly more opened vowel, and it was the correct choice because it sounded great. And to most ears, they can't tell that it's not an E. The E can be easily mistaken for that E, and she knows that, and that's why she made that vowel choice. Oh! Sorry, I guess I paused at the wrong moment. Let's rewind and experience that again. Oh my. I have not seen something like that since like the Mariah Carey vanishing on SNL video. I've not seen somebody transition from chest to whistle as easily as freaking, I don't know, stepping on a crunchy leaf since that video, and I'm blown away. <sighs> that is control, that skill, that is, what that is is a really, really strong set of vocal cords. I know I talk about this all the time, but that takes flexible, strong vocal cords that practice and practice often and practice diligently. So Morissette's been putting in her time, and that shows because that was, like I said, I haven't seen anything like that since that Mariah Carey video. So kudos, like, wow, hats off. That was amazing. I'm blown away. Hey to the people in the back. 
Ya. Oh, wish. Oh, wish. Come on. I mean, what do I say? Like, what do I say? I know this is my channel and I'm supposed to react, but I don't know what I'm supposed to say. That was vocal perfection. Like, that was just... It was perfection. It was beautiful. I didn't hear one pitch that strayed, which by the way is not a bad thing. When you're singing, it's normal for a pitch here and there to be pitchy. It's just a product of working with an organic instrument. But that was so dialed, so professional, so shiny. That tone is placed in the perfect spot. Earlier when I was talking about the resonators, when she's doing those amazing belts at the end, they're all happening up here. That's why it sounds so shiny. That's why it, it's so light. It sounds so light. Belting is not pulling your chest voice up, and that's where a lot of people make a mistake. And that's where I made a mistake before I learned how to belt properly. Belting, you're gonna put it here in what's called the mask, and she's working fully in the mask. Her mouth is open so she can access those resonators, and that's why it sounds so perfect. And again, she's got those strong, strong, strong vocal folds that can create that tone and sustain that tone because it takes control and it also takes stamina. And she's got both, like that was like 30 seconds of like upper register belting. Not one strain, we don't know her. Like struggle, we don't know her. It was ease, it was grace, it was ah. Uh, and the whole time she just has this like amazing smile, like uh, It makes me think of Leia Salonga, like that kind of princess-like, beautiful, clear, crystal, pure, like wow. I loved it. Thank you for sending this to me. This is beautiful. Like, I feel like I just walked through a garden filled with swans and like lily flowers. Like that was a cleansing for the soul, that piece of art. So thank you for sending this to me. Let me know what you wanna see next. Go follow my Instagram. There you can get content that you won't get here. Also, if you message me on there, I'm more likely to see it, the suggestions that you send in. So go follow that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell, and I'll see you in the next one.